when your master is sharing with you the principles for life, how to enjoy life, how to be fulfilled, how to honor him, how to walk according to destiny that he has for you, how to live the dream in his heart. What is the master actually saying? He's explaining to you the heart of his father, the heart of our father. Because knowing the father and knowing the master, that is eternal life. And in the quality of eternal life, he wants us to enjoy that life even now, even today, even tomorrow. He came from the bosom of the father to explain who the father is. And that's why he says, if you've seen me, you've seen the Father. I hope, I believe, I trust that you've worked through and will work through these principles in the Beatitudes still, and that it will become a foundation for your life to walk in an excellent fulfillment in that what he has for you. But we even see in verse 11, blessed are you when people insult you, persecute you, and falsely say all kinds of evil against you because of me. Because of me. Because it's all about me. That's the heart of a, of a priest. God has a desire, and he's seeking that what he desires. And that is, he's seeking worshippers, true, true, genuine worshippers that will worship him in spirit and in truth. In truth and through truth, we have stature to be kings, kings with a king of kings because of the stature through the word. But worshipping from our spirit through the perfection that he has placed in our spirit even beyond what is happening in our soul, even beyond the up and down of emotions, the failures, the disappointments, the success, the opinions, all those things in our soul. Beyond that, he is longing for us that we will come through our spirit and with the perfection that's in our spirit and give him all honor. Give him all honor. Because in our spirit, we know that we know that we know exactly who he is. May God help you, help me to sort out our souls to come in line with that, with the God that God has placed in our spirit. God is seeking true worshippers that will worship him in spirit and truth. Walk into that place. You see, verse 12, rejoice and be glad. Because great is your reward in heaven, for in the same way they persecuted the prophets who were before you. Rejoice and be glad in the opportunity, in the privilege that you have to worship the Almighty God, the true God. Enjoy that privilege and give yourself according to these principles that you've learned and that you will apply in the Beatitudes starting with that honesty and humility, growing in the brokenness and true repentance, to be teachable, flexible under his hand, to have a, such a hunger for more of him, so that you can be fulfilled in him and through him, so that you will know how to be a practical Christian, where there is a genuine walk in and through you, let it be so, let it be so. And that from a heart that God touched and that the purity of your heart that's coming from your soul, as your spirit, no, not your soul, that's coming from your spirit, that from that place you will see your God and be the kind of peacemakers that, is not, that are not compromise, compromising anything. From that place with stature you will stand as a king in the name of Jesus Christ. From that place you will be a worshipper from your spirit, from your spirit. 
of spirit and truth according to an eternal, eternal desire and dream from your Father that he has for you. Let it be so for your life in Jesus' name and that name alone. Amen.